One year ago, we were in the days before our lives were about to change. Mornings were always busy for almost everyone. We get up as early as 5 a.m. and go to a one-hour drive to school. Traffic makes the journey longer and we all go through it. We spend most of our times outside our home, so we are used to seeing a lot of people wherever we go. And then, everything changed. I remember those times. I remember those times when there was still no COVID-19. I miss those hanging out with your friends after class. I miss those helping with each other in the class. You know? I miss Another those. observation has tested positive for the novel coronavirus. This is the first case in the country. That World health officials this morning are reporting the first coronavirus death outside of China. A man from Wuhan, China, has died in the Philippines. In response, the Philippines has banned travelers from China. Meanwhile, At first, I thought COVID-19 would just last for a month or two. I didn't believe that a said virus would cause a million of deaths because I assume it is just like other respiratory diseases that it can be get easily get treated. But when our president announced a total community lockdown, that is when I realized that it is true and it is very dangerous for all of us. When the pandemic started, many streets in the cities around the world are empty. Flights to and from affected parts of the world have been cancelled. Schools are temporarily closed. Grocery and drugstore shelves are being emptied of cold and flu remedies, hand sanitizers, alcohol, disinfecting wipes, and anti-inflammatory over-the-counter medications. People are stockering in their homes with food, water, toiletries, preparing for a long quarantine. When COVID-19 pandemic started, my only worry was how I was going to spend most of my days at home while I was in the luxury of my home. Complete with necessities, I failed to realize that our frontliners were having insufficient supply of equipment or materials that they need in order to keep themselves safe. It was only when I watched the news that I saw the frontliners being creative with what they were because they don't have the proper protective equipment in their respective areas. When I saw that many of those frontliners being infected, and some even dying in the midst of saving another's life, I felt helpless. Studying in the field of medical technology, I wanted to do something, but I am left standing in place, unable to do anything, other than hoping and praying that things will be better in the days to come. I have family members who are risking their lives saving patients during this crucial and difficult time. And I can't imagine the bravery that they possess despite of all the discriminations, trauma, harassment, struggles, and stress that they experience from other people. They suffered a lot. But because of their great determination and contribution, they offer and give the best humanity. They are truly heroes and are examples of compassion, bravery, greatness, and kindness. Nearly a year ago, one of my cousins planned a trip to the United States to celebrate our cousin's upcoming wedding. When the trip finally rolled around, he thought there was a little community spread and COVID-19 was mainly a disease of travelers an ocean away, so he did not cancel. Little did he know he would soon have COVID-19. I was shocked at first to hear that my cousin was a COVID-19 positive because he had direct contact with a traveler who tested positive for COVID-19. He came down with a low-grade fever, chills, loss of taste, and smell. Soon after, a public health nurse called with a strict instruction to isolate him at home. After he was recovered, he shared with me how a nurse helps him to fight the disease. He was instructed to speak with this nurse daily about his symptoms until his isolation period ended. 
What is special about this nurse is that she would encourage me cousin not to give up. This nurse always shares different stories so that my cousin will not feel alone. This shows that frontliners are just not there to treat but also to fill out patient's social and emotional needs. To our strong frontliners out there who sacrificed their lives for us, we would never have a safer surrounding if it were for all of you. Thank you for all of your sacrifices that you have done for us. Everything that you've done to serve the community inspired me to move forward and also help people that are in need. Thank you for every second that you're spending to protect us from the deadly virus that even the naked eyes cannot see. It is truly a blessing to have someone like you that are willing to help us not just from the virus that is spreading around the world, but also in our daily living. Every frontliner motivates me to continue in pursuing my dreams, given how difficult the situation is. They teach me not to hold back and stay in my comfort zone, but to explore the cruel and unfair world that we are living. They show me how to fight back, even if the situation is out of control. I hope I can also do something special for all of you, to pay back your hard work. But the best thing that I can do right now is to offer prayers to God that you will always be safe and stay away from danger, especially from the virus, every time to accomplish your duty as frontliners. More than a year into the pandemic, COVID-19 cases and death tolls are still rising. The threat of the virus doesn't subside. In these extraordinary times, and despite the hardship and health risks in overstretched health facilities, millions of essential frontline workers continue to do their jobs. Every day, they put their own safety and well-being aside to provide life-saving support and protection to the people most in need. COVID-19 might might be perceived with no end in sight, but it does not deter our health workers, housekeepers, janitorial staff, and compliance officers, our frontline heroes, from doing their job and tirelessly working to find ways to combat the threat and eventually beat the invisible and deadly enemy. We must give our healthcare workers all the support they need to do their jobs, be safe, and stay alive. We salute them for continuously putting their lives on the line. Their efforts must not be forgotten. We will not lose the fight against COVID-19. Thank you. Thank you. Maraming salamat. Salamat, Gid. Maraming salamat. Maraming salamat. Thank you. Salamat, Gid. Thank you very much.